Hello, everybody. This is Lisa again, and I just uh, finished up the last class where we were doing a little uh, Jeopardy-style quiz show on some topics about America, food and stuff. And so now we're going to wait for some people to join in. <clears throat> While everybody's joining, I'm going to review the, uh, how to join the class and how it works, just because I know every day uh, Verblink is having more and more people check out the site and try these classes and try getting partners. So what's happening right now is people are clicking on the join class button so if you go to the live classes you'll see a join class button and you click on that it's green like I said and um, then you'll come up here in the Google Hangouts and in the Google Hangouts we get to have nine people at a time so it looks like we might already be full when it's full then it, it'll tell you at the top of your screen it says this class is full and so if it's full you can still participate in the verbling text chat over here by typing in um, things and um, and every class on Verbling has um, different teachers and they have different topics sometimes you'll you'll have a lot of talking sometimes you might be reading and doing more uh, of those types of lessons uh, this class right now today um, is going to be a conversation class so I want to give you guys a lot of chance to speak English because that's what's kind of uh, different about Verbling is it's a place where you guys can come and and speak English and listen to uh, native English speakers give classes and talk and ask you questions and things so I'm going to start the class by introducing myself and then I'm gonna ask you to introduce yourself and tell us what country you're from um, all right. So I think also I want to just say that it's okay if you have to leave the class. Uh, I know that some people their connection gets uh, dropped or they have to um, go and do something else. Um, so when you do leave the class, that opens up another spot for another person to come in. So if you're watching right now and you're waiting to get in, uh, you can uh, see the join class button when somebody leaves. Also, um, it looks like everybody's pretty good right now. Sometimes there's um, background noise, and if there's too much background noise, either I or somebody else will probably try to mute you, and that's just so that we can have it quiet so everybody can hear. Also, if you start, um, if you have two verbling windows open and you start watching a, this class from the beginning, then we're going to start hearing ourselves talk, and so sometimes I mute people when that happens also. Okay, so we're going through here. We have, I think we have everybody's here. Um, OZL says there's too much echo. Um, I don't hear an echo on my side, OZL. Maybe turn down your mic or something. Sometimes um, people have problems using Chrome, but I'm using Chrome right now, and I think it's working fine for me. Hmm. Okay, so my name is Lisa. And I live in Washington State, which is in the Pacific Northwest of the United States. And I'm one of the teachers on Verbling. I try to do at least one or two classes a day at different times because on Verbling, we like to try to have a class every hour on the hour. So people all around the world can come at different times of the day and join in the classes and get a chance to practice speaking. English. Hello. 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 All right, so we're going to start, I'll go, call your name, and then usually when I call your name, I like to put your picture up if you have your video on, um, so you'll see who I'm talking to. And just, just tell us your name, make sure I said it right, and then tell us what country you're from. So, Salem, are you there? Yes, yes, I'm there. Sorry, uh, I don't have a camera right now. That's okay. So, Salem, where are you from? Yes, uh, I'm from uh, Yemen, but actually I'm here in Saudi Arabia. I'm living here in Saudi Arabia. Okay, great. In Saudi Arabia. What time is it in Saudi Arabia right now? Now it's uh, 9 uh, p.m. 9 p.m. Okay, great. And Wolf, you're there. Hi there. Wolf, are you there? <coughs> okay. Wolf, I don't know what's going on with Wolf. He's from South Africa, though, and he's been in several of our classes, and so he's a popular Verbling student. Oziel, why don't you tell these people where you're from? Hi, I'm from Brazil. Okay. What what city in Brazil do you live in? I live in Brazil, the capital of the country. Oh, okay. Is that is that a very big city? How many people live there? 
Yeah, I think it's not that big. It's, I think two million people living here. Two million. Okay. Uh, All right. All right, and we have Omar. Hi there, Omar uh, again. <laughs> my name is Omar, and I am Syrian. Okay, living in Syria. Okay, and I. Hi, Olga. Hello, hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Olga. I'm from Russia. And what part of Russia are you living in? I live in Moscow, in the middle of Russia. Okay. Is there much snow in Moscow at this time? Yes, it's much snow and it's freezing now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well stay warm, huh? <laughs> what time is it there in Russia, in Moscow? Uh, 10 p.m. 10 p.m. Okay, so it's 12 hours difference exactly from here. Yes. <laughs> Eva Masio, are you there? Ivan. Yes, I am. Hi there. All right, you're Hi. back. I'm back, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. And you, from, what part of Brazil are you in? I'm from Brazil and I live in Recife. Oh, okay. My yeah. brother lived in Recife when he uh, was about 16 years old. He was a foreign exchange student there and, and he had a very, very good time in Brazil. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> yeah, he, he loved Brazil. <laughs> okay, Philip, hi there. Yeah, hi again. Hi again. <laughs> Okay, my name is Philip. I'm from Poland. Now time is 7.07 p.m. Okay, wonderful. And er Erkal, is that how you say your name? Erkal? Yes, Erkal. Erkal, okay. Uh -huh. Hi, Lisa. Uh, Hi. I'm from Turkey. Uh, it's 8 p.m. right now, and it's raining. Outside. And raining, okay. Yeah. <laughs> is it cold yes. or, or not too cold? Not too cold. Okay, great. Yeah. And Emmanuel, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Um, hi, my name is Emmanuel. I'm from Costa Rica. Um, this is my first time here. Um, I hope enjoying this class. All right, wonderful. Uh, yeah, here it's um, 10 a.m. Okay, same time as me. What? Um, yeah. <laughs> what part of Costa Rica do you live in? Uh, I live in a town called Sarchi. Oh, okay. Yeah. Which is that? Um, is that near the water, or is it more inland? No, it's like in the middle of Costa Rica. Okay, great. All right, wonderful. Well, today um, this is kind of a, a loose topic. We're going to be talking about uh, the things that we do on the weekend. So I'm going to I set up a little bit of a Google Doc just to give us some ideas of how to talk about this so we can talk about the words that are correct to use when talking about things that we're going to do. So the, I'm putting the link to the Google Doc right there. and uh, So I'm going to be asking people questions and, and um, this is a chance for you to practice your English so you can give me very short answers or you can give me a little bit longer answers. If you give me short answers, I might ask you some more questions to get you to practice your English a little bit, bit more. Um, I see Sebastian's in the chat. Hi, Sebastian. Um, so if you want to join in in the chat, you can also do that. I know there's several people watching this video right now, so they're going to watch us do our class, but they can also participate by typing in. So if they want to tell us uh, their answers to the questions, then that's also a fun way to uh, practice. Because, of course, part of learning another language is not just listening and understanding, but it's speaking and writing and communicating in different ways. Okay, so Wolfie, did you join us? Are you going to be in the, uh, just in the text chat? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm here. Oh, you're there. Okay, great. <laughs> okay. Great photo. <laughs> All right. Well, welcome. Welcome. Okay, so the first question I'm going to ask is just kind of a simple question. It's, uh, it's not quite yet the weekend, but in some places, Friday night is the starting of the weekend, which is tomorrow night, and maybe for some of you, you're already into Friday. Um, it's Thursday here. So, um, Emmanuel, do you have any plans for the weekend? Are you going to do anything? It doesn't yeah, have to be special. Just tell yeah. us what you're going to do. 
<laughs> yeah, so this is, this is going to be a, a special weekend. Okay. You know, uh, I will be, uh, how do you say, my birthday is coming up. I will be 18 years old this okay. Saturday. So me and my friends, we are preparing a, a party. Uh -huh. So it will be a nice nice weekend, yeah, this, this next Saturday. Great. Well, tell us a little more about your party. What kind of party is it going to be? Like, are you going to have a barbecue or, like, a lot of food? Are you going to go out on the town or...? A lot of things, music, um, uh -huh. beer, song, <laughs> med, <barbecue. laughs> Dancing, maybe? Dancing, okay. too, right? Yeah, okay, good. All right, uh, Ercal, what are you going to do this weekend? Lisa, uh, you shut my microphone? Uh, yeah, there was a little bit of um, okay. noise in the background, but it's on now, so uh, what okay, are you going to do that. this weekend? No problem. Okay. Uh, I will be diving oh. in Mediterranean Sea. Yeah, if it, it is uh, it will be possible, uh, I will be diving. Scuba uh -huh. diving. Scuba Maybe. diving? Awesome. Yes. I've never yeah. done that before. Yes. <laughs> And tomorrow, uh, 21 December, <laughs> uh -huh. you know that? The world's going to end? If, if I will be, <laughs> still exist in the world, I will be done. <laughs> right, okay, good. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, some people uh, believe that the Mayan calendar says that the, the world mm -hmm. is going to come to an end tomorrow. So mm -hmm. if we're all here, we're going to have a good weekend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't believe that, but it's funny. <laughs> yeah, it, it's funny to think about. Uh, that mm -hmm. It's kind of unbelievable how that would happen, but I guess if uh, some kind of comet or something hit the Earth, we could blow up or something. But <laughs> Yeah. Okay, so um, I want to know a little bit more about your scuba diving. Do you have to um, wear full wetsuits and everything? Is it cold in the Mediterranean, or is it warm? The, yes, it's cold. Uh, and I have to wear my suits. Uh -huh. To uh, uh, protect my uh, uh, body from okay. cold. Uh huh. Yes. And I need oxygen uh, tube. Uh huh. Oxygen tank. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. And what what are you going diving for? Are you looking for something, or are you just doing it for no. fun? Just for fun. Okay. With my uh, friends. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. And what do you see usually? Uh, usually I see, uh, how can I say, uh, ship, sink, sink ship, uh -huh. yeah. sunken uh, ship, lo lots of uh, uh, fish, uh -huh. mm -hmm. sometimes uh, I'm hunting them. Oh, okay, like a, yeah, with, with a spear? With a harpoon. With a harpoon, okay. Uh -huh. yeah. mm -hmm. Cool. So you, you'll hunt them and then you'll go eat them later? Yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. <laughs> okay. Well, that sounds fun. I've never been um, scuba diving, but I have been um, snorkeling. Mm -hmm. So where you just swim on the top of the water mostly. And you see, I've been to Hawaii and Mexico, and it's very mm -hmm. fun. Yes. Uh, I heard about uh, Mexico and my friends uh -huh. dive in Mexico. Oh, okay. Uh, my next plan will be in Mexico. Oh, cool. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Yeah. All right, how about you, Philip? Do you have any plans for uh, the weekend? Not special, but I think I stay home and uh -huh. uh, rest. Rest. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah. Well, I think uh, I'm, I watch some movie. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, a few. And, of course, uh, I will... Still improve my English. I, I, every day I try uh, improve my English. Yeah. yeah. So, practice, yeah. Cool. Yeah. So you'll English spend better. some time on Verblink probably, huh? Yes. Yeah, I um, find the site uh, three days ago. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, but, yeah. but when I, when I uh, see uh, how useful is it, uh, yeah, I, uh, every day. Okay. few hours <laughs> in the side. <laughs> Great. Philip, are you a student or are you working? Yeah, I'm a student in high school. Oh, in high school. All right. So yeah. you're really... Uh, in, in Poland, um, does everybody take English in high school? 
Yeah, I think it's uh, most common. Yeah, okay. for students. Uh huh. Yeah, in high school, uh, students have two languages. Yeah, uh, I think uh, in most. Uh, yeah, well, first is uh, English, and next is Russian, or Germany, or French. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. Great. Thanks, Ivan. Uh, hi. What are you doing this weekend? I intend to go to the beach on sar on Saturday. Uh huh. And after I I want to go to to a shop to to have a a lunch mm -hmm. and uh, go back to my house maybe see my girlfriend <laughs> yes and uh, Sunday I I wish to see at least two hours of of gurgling uh -huh. to, to improve my English. Uh -huh. And that's it. Okay. Yeah. Great. <laughs> so um, in Hizife, are the beaches uh, good for swimming or surfing or just do you go lay out? No, in, in Hizife it's so dangerous to to swim here or mm. is, is surfing it's impossible because oh. has a lot of sharks. Oh, out! Uh, <laughs> yes, <laughs> I, there there are other other beach that you can surf, oh, but okay. you're not in the 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 nearest beach at my home. It's not possible. Okay. Okay. So it's just fun to go and and hang out in the sun. In 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 English, we call it lay out. When you just go lay out on the beach and soak up the sun. Oh, uh, okay. Is it pretty sunny there right now? Can you repeat, please? Is it pretty sunny in his yes, yes, Nice yes. and warm. Yeah. Yes. Okay. <laughs> pretty, maybe. pretty, pretty. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Olga. Maybe you yes. want to go. Maybe you want to go to Brazil for the, the weekend. The, <laughs> the, <laughs> the, yes, the, it's cool. Who <laughs> has the warm and home? Yeah. Uh, yeah. One moment. One moment, yeah. please. please. Ahead, I forget one. one thing. Okay. Uh, the nickname of Recife is Hellsif. Hellsif. <laughs> yes. Hellsif. <laughs> the name is Hellsif. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's it. I didn't know that. Okay, good. <laughs> Is that because it's so hot or? Yeah, so hot. Oh, okay, so hot. All right. Thank you for sharing that. Okay, Olga, what are you going to do in all the snow this weekend? <laughs> uh, we are going to swim. <laughs> <laughs> on Sunday, oh, oh, on Saturday, uh, I'm going to my daughter's uh, swimming competition. Oh, uh -huh. it's, it's her first um, competition in her life, and we are preparing now. Uh, every day, we will mm -hmm. try to swim a lot. We we have a close close it uh, swimming pool. An uh, indoor swimming pool. Yeah, 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 indoors. Yeah, yeah. And uh, we swim three t times on week. Uh, on week, it's great. Uh, we forgot about we have uh, we have snowy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's very uh, difficult when we um, uh, swim. Uh huh. In, uh, cold weather. <laughs> yes. And is it, um, how are the streets? Do you drive around in Moscow or are you walking or how do you get around and is it okay to drive right now? Or is it too icy or is too much snow on the roads or how is it? it uh, now it's icy. It's very difficult. We have a lot of traffic jam, mm -hmm. uh, uh, nine, nine degrees. It's very uh, hard. Yes. Uh, now Moscow is stopped at all. And uh, people uh, can't uh, go to home, can mm -hmm. drive. Yeah. It's very difficult, but we have many um, uh, chemical 
on the road and uh, in the middle of the Moscow it's not it's not easy okay do you live in the in the city or outside of the city I live in the uh, in the city in the north north of city oh, okay all right and I hope the the pool is warm yes <laughs> yeah, yes, <laughs> twenty nine. Uh, okay, degrees. good. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Thank you, Omar. How about you? What are you going to do this weekend? Weekend here is two days. In other country, it's only one. So for me, tomorrow on Friday, it's going to be twenty one uh, December. Yes. There is a movie that talk about the end of the world. Uh, mm. So I believe tomorrow I'm gonna watch it with my friend, and uh, <laughs> we, I'm gonna get the popcorn. Other friend gonna get the cake and cola, and so we are gonna see. <laughs> uh, Sunday, uh, on Saturday, I believe I'm gonna study. On Sunday, I have an exam on physiology. Oh, so okay. I believe I'm gonna spend all Saturday studying and preparing for that exam. You have a you have a um, class on Sunday or Monday? Yeah, here holiday is uh, uh, here holiday is uh, Friday and Saturday. Oh, really? Okay, I didn't know that. Yeah, it's me. Okay, great. Well, thanks for telling me that. Oziel, how about you? What are you going to do on the weekend? Yeah, tomorrow I'm going to a party to celebrate the end of the world. Everybody's talking about. We're gonna have a party here <laughs> tonight. Yeah. We don't believe that. We don't believe that. No one goes to believe that. Just take like a joke. We're gonna have yeah. a party and we <laughs> Saturday I probably do laundry and <laughs> Sunday Saturday Saturday Saturday, Sunday, oh, Saturday at night I will go to some place to drink beer or something like that. And if, Sunday if you're morning still I here. Talk... No, of course I'll be here. <laughs> <laughs> yes, of course. Uh, and Sunday morning I'll probably go to the park to do walking. So like my, like my or like that. Okay, great. And I, I'm imagining that also where you are in Brazil, in Brasilia, it's nice and warm. It's not warm. It's like a hell, hell shift too. It's so so hot in here. <laughs> it's really hot. I don't like the weather. Okay. Well, you can always go to Moscow. I should. I like to have this possibility. Yeah, you have a different climate there. Okay, Wolf, how about you? What are you doing this weekend? This weekend, to get absolutely trashed. You're going to get absolutely trashed? Yeah. I am absolute weekend warrior. Warrior. <laughs> okay, Wolf says he, he is a weekend warrior. Do you guys well, know what he's meaning by that? Oops, I the wrong. There aren't enough days in the weekend. Every day is a weekend for you, maybe, huh? <laughs> Are you still on your staycation? Unfortunately. Did you, did you start work? No, I'm still I'm still searching. Okay. All but right. Nobody wants me. Okay. Well, well maybe because you're you're on the weekends, you have to go to work. <laughs> All right. Okay. How about uh, Salem? Are you there? Yes. Yes, I'm there. Okay. I'm what here. Are you Great. What are you going to do um, this weekend? Uh, actually, today, as uh, Omar uh, said, uh, uh -huh. we uh, the day off for us is Friday and Saturday here. So today we have a wonderful uh, day, wonderful weather. So tomorrow maybe we will go with my family to beach. Okay. Great. Now, is that the di because you guys are following a different calendar, or how come it's uh, Friday and Saturday? Yeah, actually, because you know, here in Saudi Arabia, the majority is Muslims. Yes. So uh, the Friday, it's like uh, uh, it's 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 a special day for Muslims. So that's why it's Friday is off here. Yeah, I mean, the weekend is Friday. And okay, so in um, for the Christians, they have they often go to if they want to go to church. On Sunday, so for uh, for Muslims, do, is that something you do on Friday? Do you go do? Yeah, some yeah, yeah, yeah. There is uh, in afternoon. There is 
all the Muslim, the, especially the, the men Muslim, uh -huh. go to mosque to pray uh, something we, we, we call it in Arabic Jum'ah. Jum'ah, okay. This is, yeah, this is the, the Friday name in Jum'ah. Oh, okay. All right. Great. Well, thanks for explaining that. So, uh, Ghassan, you just joined us. Welcome. Hi there. Can you turn up your microphone a little bit, or yeah, put your mic there. There you go. So I'm just um, we're talking about what we're going to be doing on the weekend, and we have some people who are celebrating Friday and Saturday. So is that the same in Iraq? Friday and Saturday is the weekend. Yes, the weekend is uh, Friday, of course, but they add the Saturday uh, lately. Uh, I normally uh, spend my Fridays. Uh, street called Al-Mutanabi Street. It's special for, uh, you know, it's like a book fair. So oh. when you go, you see all, uh, everywhere there is books on the street, on the, you know, walk side, in the bookshops. And you see thousands of people there buying, selling, and, uh, uh, and uh, even reading books. And you see intellectuals, you see journalists, you see artists, they are gathered there that street every Friday probably it's the I had a friend from Germany here and she was saying this is the best street in Baghdad <laughs> yeah says. and this is a very famous uh, you know street probably around the world because of this this you know fair every Friday and so I spend my Fridays normally there uh, and my Saturdays I go to a friend place or something like that yeah okay Wow, that's cool. How many um, how many people do you think go to the book fair? Is it like a hundred, a couple hundred, or a couple thousand? Or it's it's thousands if the weather is not too bad. So you, you probably could see a hundred thousand person each week coming. Uh, even more. It's in the in the old central of Baghdad. So it's like a place that have been there for a few thousand years. And though the buildings are newer, they renew them, uh, but uh, the street has uh, some kind of old feelings when you get in it and you see all the books on the street. You could even buy, you know, a good book for a dollar, sometimes half a dollar. There are used books and there is new books coming from around the world and you could see them. And uh, normally uh, anybody wants to uh, have a good day with uh, intellectuals goes there. Okay, so you can um, get books from all around the world in different languages and stuff, or? Yes, I have, uh, once I bought a book, for example, uh, from a famous Iraqi poet uh, that translated to German language. Oh. So I bought the same thing from, uh, I had the uh, Iraqi one, I bought the German language from there. It was an old book and it was used one, I don't know who bought it in Germany and brought it to Iraq. But I found it there. If I want to buy a, like an English or American novel, you could find them there for a dollar or half a dollar. It depends on the you know, situation of the book. So uh -huh. if you want new books, normally books are between $5 to uh, 60 or $70, depending on the, where they print it, in India or in UK or where. Uh, yeah. Whatever. Wow, okay. That's great. That's interesting. Thank you for sharing that. I, if I was in Baghdad, that's where I would go because I like to read. <laughs> yeah, that's a great place to not just to read, but even to uh, to feel good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it sounds fun to me. Victor, you just joined us. Hi there. Hi. Hi all. I Hi there. I waited a long time for uh, joining this this room. <laughs> oh well. Well, it it paid off. Your waiting paid off. <laughs> now you're in. <laughs> and I, I stay clicking, try again, try again, try again, until I can. Okay, well. my, English, my English is isn't very well. It's my first day in Berlin, and I and I'm enjoying it a, a lot. Okay, great. Tell us, um, where are you from? I'm from Brazil, Rio de Janeiro. Okay. And uh, and is it? <laughs> and you? Where are you from? Yeah, I don't I'm. Know. Okay, 
So in the beginning of the class, I introduced myself. I'm from Washington. I live Sorry. in Washington State, yeah, in the okay. Pacific Northwest in the United States. We have several <laughs> people here from Brazil. And I'm wondering, how did you hear about Verdlink? You just, you just heard about it recently? No. Or? No, I think it was Googling or, or in uh, news from tech startups and etc. Okay. And, uh, and is it? I, I, I've heard this, this conversation and it's about what we do in this weekend. Yes. Right? Yes. So, well, do you want to tell us what you're going to do? It's my time. <laughs> yes. Uh, <laughs> I, 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 I want to. Play soccer, go to the beach. Here in Rio de Janeiro, the sun is very bright, mm. and uh, I want to see movies. To tell you the truth, I, I remember that I want to see again Kill Bill, Kill Bill One and Two. I love oh, this, this uh -huh. movie. Okay, yeah. cool. And that's it. All right, so it's hot there in uh, where you are too in Rio. It's hot. Sorry. Did you say that it's hot? It's in Rio? hot. Yeah, yeah, the sun is the sun is very hot here. <laughs> yeah, because that's what the other people said too. Because we have somebody from Recife and somebody from Brasilia also. Oh, nobody yeah. from Rio. Just me. Just you, right now. Okay. Okay. <laughs> then it's sunny in, in entire Brazil. Yeah, I guess Brazil yeah. is the place to go if you want uh, sun. Uh, actually, I wonder, um, Salem, Salem, you, you said it's also sunny where you are. Yes. Is it, um, is it hot or is it just warm? No, here it's warm. It's a wonderful uh, day, actually. It's wonderful uh, nice climate weather. these days. Yeah, yeah, nice weather. Okay, great. And Ghassan, in, in Iraq, in Baghdad right now, what's the weather like? <coughs> oh, actually, we had some showers today, uh, and, and today morning, and last uh, last day or last night, mm -hmm. and it was surprisingly windy today. Even the you know, even the, uh, the TV news they, they they surprised with the wind. I don't know what happened. Normally, in this uh, time, we have a very nice weather. It's like um, between five degrees to uh, at night and fifty or twenty a day. So mm -hmm. it's a great degree. We have the fall and some of the spring is uh, actually good weather for us, but the winter is not bad and the summer, of course, is the hell. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Every, I'm going to write it in the chat. Everybody um, has their version of hell, <laughs> of oh, hellish I weather. I don't know what I'm speaking. <laughs> the bullet, the bullet you put in the gun, if you leave it in the sun, sometimes it goes by itself. Oh my that gosh. It explodes. I have seen that by myself. It's, oh wow. Imagine uh, we have in shadow 52 degrees. In shadow. Oh my gosh. So the sun is more than 60, 60 degrees or 130 or 40 Fahrenheit, I think, in your measures. Yeah. How do, um, how do people live? Do you spend a lot of time indoors then? <laughs> Or what do people um, do in the summer? Well, we have to live. We have no choice. But mostly people don't go out. You don't see anyone. You know, at noon out. The cars normally you can't get in your car if it's in the sun. You have to leave it there because it's too hot to sit in it. So, but you know, after a while you get sick normally because of this. Your body is weak. Your skin uh, burns by itself. Even if you are don't, uh, you are not out. Because I was sweating, you get uh, some kind of things on your uh, on your face, just like I have. Hmm. Oops, sorry. Hold on. Something happened there. Are you there? Hold on. Sorry. There. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Got muted there. Are you? I can't hear. I can't hear you, Gasan. Okay, sorry about that. I don't know what's going on. It looks like it's on. Okay, Emmanuel. Yep. I have another. I don't know if you went to the Google Doc, but um, can you tell me if you want to figure out what's going on in your town? Where do you look? 
to find out what kinds of things are going on in your town. Yeah, he, here's how to say it's a nice, nice town. It's mm -hmm. an interesting town, I don't know, because we have here the the largest Oscar in the world. I don't, uh -huh. know, where, I don't know if you know where it's Oscar. No, what is that? Uh, I don't know. Uh, maybe I can write it. Oh, yeah, write it in the Oscar. chat. Oh, ox cart, uh huh, yeah. yeah. We have the largest Oscar in the world, so it's very uh, interesting. We, I can say here's a tourist place. Uh, I don't know if you know if you have. I don't know what you know about Costa Rica, but here uh, I can say we have uh, a lot of things to do in, on weekends. For example, from I live, it's like a strategic strategic point. I don't know, mm -hmm. stra stra strategy Strat point. Yeah. Strategy yeah. point? Yeah, because for example, if I want to go to hot springs, you uh -huh. know what? hot springs, yeah. yes. Yeah, on, on car the last like uh, two hours, mm -hmm. uh, or if I or if I want to go to a beach, on car the last like one hour. So everything is near. We yeah. have uh, micro weather's micro climates. Uh huh. Micro climates. Yeah, for example, we is hot, but if I go to other place, maybe it, it, it can be cold. And mm -hmm. it's a nice country, so yes. uh, we have here a lot of things to do on weekend. Also, it's very common to see people watching uh, soccer games in, on, on weekend. Yes. So it's, it's nice, yeah. Okay. Yes, it's great. Actually, I lived in Costa Rica for just a little b uh, while. Um, on the west coast, um, by the I forget the name of it now, El General, Ciudad del General, or something like that. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, by, yeah, in El General, right there. And we had a piece of property, but we didn't, we didn't end up staying there. We, but I've been to Costa Rica a couple times. It's very nice climate. Lots of different. Uh, yeah, have yeah. been to the Good cloud forest. Nice. Have you been to the cloud forest in El, El Bosque? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's nice. Here, okay. I uh, know it's very it's very famous. The beaches here they are very famous. Yes. Uh, they are so nice. I don't know if you know any beaches here. Yeah, I know some of them. Can Can you say me the name? I, I don't remember what it was. Um, yeah. On the on the west coast, the playa. Um, I didn't go to the east coast. It was on the west coast more. So I'm not yeah. sure what it was called. Do you, tell me the name yeah, of one. I, actually, the bells, the bells, beaches here in Costa Rica, they are located uh, in a province called Guanacaste. Guanacaste, yeah, I've been there. Yeah. So, yeah, so there are nice uh, beaches like I know called Playa Hermosa, Playa mm -hmm. San Cudo, Playa mm -hmm. Guiones. So yeah. it's very, they are very busy beaches. You see uh, uh, people from the United States or on. Uh, around the world, people, uh, and it's nice. Uh, yeah. Also the uh, also the hot springs. Uh, they are or the volcanoes. Is, they are famous. Actually, yeah. I don't. I remember that. I don't know. It was like two months ago. Uh huh. Uh, Will Smith came here to make a movie. And I I I went to to that place. I mean to. To where they were making the movie. To, yeah, to sing to sing in the thermal pools and oh, also uh -huh. yeah. Uh, this is a famous. Uh, that the actually the town is called La Fortuna. It's, it's La Fortuna, nice. Yeah. If you have the chance to to come here to go there, I I recommend you because it's nice. It's very nice. So. Okay. Uh, also, yeah, because you know this Costa Rica, you know, is a peaceful country. We have a democratic system. Uh, yeah. Uh, also, the the yeah, I mean, the location is good. Uh, yeah. Uh, the, the health services uh, in almost, in, you know, is almost free for everyone. Wow. Uh huh. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Actually, yeah, because I'm a student, so I can get the health services free. Mm -hmm. But peop if people work, they just pay like, I don't know, they are like 50, no, yeah, like $50 per month is very cheap. Yeah, and they can get uh, health services all that that they want, and it's, it's a nice country. Okay, great, thanks. Here call. Hi. Yes. So Hi, I'm. Lisa. 
I put in the chat, um, for example, if I want to go to New York City, I look up on Google and I put in like a New York City calendar or events. Um, where do you go if you want to find out what's going on in your um, city? Uh, first of all, uh, I cannot see the chat box. Uh, um, what did you type in the chat box? Oh, I just, it's simple. I put it in the uh, Hangouts okay. chat. Maybe, maybe you can see the Hangouts chat. But it's just an example. But I imagine that in Turkey, um, do you uh, is it popular for people to try to go find something to do, like uh, look in the newspaper or look on the internet or listen to the radio to find out what's happening, like uh, movies or concerts or uh, sh theater shows or something like that? Do you understand? No, actually, can you <laughs> can you ask me again? Yes. Because, uh, I have a uh, technical problem problem right okay. now. Okay. So I'm just asking, if I'm in Turkey, where would I go yes. to find out what I can do on the weekend? Uh, you're asking me uh, about uh, where you can find the event list? Uh-huh. Yeah, like events. Summary? Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Uh, uh, for my town, uh, uh -huh. I live south of Turkey uh, called Hatay. Uh -huh. uh, it's near the Mediterranean. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a small town. Uh, the population is around 200,000. Mm -hmm. uh, and there is a plat uh, platform on the internet called iskander.org. Uh, you can find the events uh, on the platform. Uh -huh. uh, or you can ask the people uh, yeah. What will be, uh, yeah. what event gonna be in uh, on weekends? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Yeah. Philip, how about how about you? If I'm in Poland, how do I figure out what I want to do on the weekend? Weekend. Yeah. Where will I go to find out what's happening in 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 your town? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I think I can go to cinema, for example. Uh huh. Yeah. Or what other place? Oh, for example, to party, to club. Mm hmm. Yeah, dancing club. <coughs> okay. Or, yeah. Or, I don't know. Yeah, my city is small. Okay. How many yeah. people? How many people live in your city? No. Uh, uh, Seventy thousand. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I I live in a very small town. My town is named Port Townsend, Washington. I'm writing it in the chat. And for us, if we want to figure out what's uh, going on in the weekend, if we want to look on the internet, we sometimes go to this website, and that will tell us, like, uh, what's happening. So it might be what movies are playing. What um, what theater shows are playing? If there's any concerts, sometimes people get together and play games like Scrabble or different card games. So they list that on there also. Also, you can look in the newspaper. So that's what we how we find out about it. What about you, Gasan? In in Baghdad, if I wanted to find something to do, where would I go to look? Hmm. I don't. I don't hear you. Are you? Uh huh. Yeah, you hear me. Okay. Yeah. yeah go I, ahead. Can, I can send. You, I can send you a link on. to one site, but it's in Polish. In Polish. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. I can send a link, of course. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Put it up there. Um, Gasan, I can't hear you. Is your mic on? I don't hear you. I don't know what happened. Oh, I'm going to try to mute it and unmute again. Okay. Now, how about that? Um. I'm trying to talk to Gassan, but I can't hear his um, mic. I don't know what happened. So I'm, I have one question. Yeah. Yeah, do you see my video? video? Yes. Uh, because uh, I... Uh, in my side, I see only only my one 
one uh, picture. <laughs> I don't yeah. know why. <laughs> yeah, okay, but like you said, it's all in Polish. <laughs> but that's exactly the kind of site that I was talking about. Um, so I'm going to ask you guys a different question here. I put up some different questions. This is the probably maybe, let's see, if you could do anything this weekend, what would you do? If it didn't matter how much it cost or, you know, you had free time, what is something that you would like to do this weekend? I'm going to go over here to Salem. Salem, if you could do anything this weekend, is there something that you would like to do that would be special or something? Uh, actually, nothing uh, special, but uh, if I if I can uh, go and uh, traveling, that's traveling from here. يعني. I think uh, that's the only thing now I, I can thinking about. Do you have a place that you would like to go visit? Like a different country or a different place inside of Saudi Arabia? Uh, yeah, yeah, actually Dubai. Uh, Dubai now is a nice place to, uh, to go on this day. And so I think uh, if I can do that, I will do it now. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sebastian says in the chat to come to Chile. <laughs> to Chile. Um, how, how the weather is Chile? It's good now? It's nice? Uh, I don't know, Sebastian, you'll have to tell us. Sebastian, is it nice in Chile right now? He says, yeah, it is. Is it raining or is it warm or what's it like in Chile? Okay, Gasan, I saw the, the green light. It might come on now. Um, hey, um, Salem, have you ever been to Dubai? Yeah, I, I went to there uh, uh, twice or three times before. Oh, okay. Great. Yeah, especially in this day and in this day, December, it's 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 nice uh, time to go there. Okay, great. Okay, Gasan, I think it's going to work now. Yeah, I think I'm back. You're back. All right, good. So, I guess I'm, I'm asking a different question now, and that is, um, if you could do anything you wanted this weekend, what is there anything you could think of that you would like to do? Well, not in Baghdad. Maybe in New York. Maybe I go to, <laughs> to uh, you know, to Ed Sullivan's uh, theater and see David Letterman's or uh -huh. something like that. But here, normally, uh, you know, at night you can't go out. It's dangerous, and uh, during the day there is not much place to go. So I personally prefer to stay at home or go to see some friends. Uh -huh. uh, though, though some people go to casinos and the river or something like that. Okay. Have you ever been to the United States, Gaza? Oh no, I never have. Uh, I never been there. No. Okay, great. I okay. have been there with Google View, probably. That's yeah. good enough. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's a. You can use Google Earth to find out what places look like. I like doing that. Hey Wolf, yeah, how I'm about interested. you? Oh, sorry. Okay, it's okay. Yeah. Wolf, um, if you could do anything this weekend, what would you do? Yeah. Affordable, affordable rates, inexpensive. Anything you had money, you could do whatever you wanted to do. In fact, I uh, I would like to do. I, I want to spend my weekend cozy bed with female. Okay. <laughs> and because that's and also, why... Yeah. For your previous question, previous yes. question. Uh, okay. If you want to come to South Africa, I'm be honored to show you around. To just you can call me. Especially, I give you fifty discount, fifty percent discount. Fifty percent discount. I'm willing to be your guide. Okay. I'm willing to be your guide. You'll be my tour guide of South Africa. Thank you. you Who like, knows? Yeah. Maybe I'll come to South Africa someday. Oziel, how about you? Is there anything that you would like to do on the weekend? If you could do anything? Yeah, actually, it's not really the big thing. I just would like to go to the beach, spend my time on the beach. Back the, the okay. Alright. So that's that's fun. Then that's good because that's what you get to do. <laughs> right? Yeah. Okay, so you're satisfied. What about you, Ivan? You're back. Yes. Is there is there something that you would especially like to do if you could do anything on this weekend? Or at any weekend? No, it's a, it's a normal weekend. I mean, on, on, on holiday, of uh -huh. my job, and uh, every day it's normal, I'm, I, I'm not 
home. Yeah. Okay, so you're pretty satisfied too. Okay, guys. Sat satisfied. Yeah, I'll write that in the chat. If you're satisfied, then it means you're good. That you're happy doing what you're doing. Oh, yeah. Yes, yeah. yes. It's satisfied. Okay. Great. Right. Okay. Um. Farretin, are you there? Hi. <laughs> Can you hear me? Hi. I'm. I was trying to talk to. Uh, I think it's Farretin, but I don't know if his microphone's working. Uh, call. Is there something? If you could do anything you wanted to do this weekend, is there something special that you would like to do? Yes, uh, I would be in Seattle, uh, <laughs> very close to you. Okay, that's nice. Uh -huh. I have been in Seattle 2009 for oh. uh, two months. Uh huh. Yes. That's what were you the place doing there? where I want to be. <laughs> okay. What were you doing in Seattle? Uh, I visit my uh, yes. friends. Mm -hmm. uh, they are uh, studying in Washington University. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Um, there's a there's a, a guy who comes on sometimes at night on the Verbling classes, and he's from Turkey, and he's studying mm -hmm. English in Seattle right now. So he's living in Seattle. For wow. a couple, yeah. So he. What's his name? Do Melly? you remember? Uh huh. Melly. Melly. Yeah. Uh, male or female? Uh, he's a guy, male. Okay, Meli. Yeah, Meli. Yeah. Okay. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's a young guy. He's he um he comes on the classes sometimes. So that was kind of fun that he was in Seattle because that's pretty close to where I am. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Seattle is nice. The uh -huh. only bad thing about Seattle it's rainy. <laughs> yeah. All he, time. He's kind of getting tired of the rain, I think, because he has to, <laughs> he has to walk. He doesn't have a car, so <laughs> yes. yeah, it can be pretty rainy. Um, Enrique, are you there? You joined, but we haven't talked yet. Enrique Duran. Yes, Enrique Duran. Hi there. I'm, I'm from the Dominican Republic. Okay, great. Welcome. And you got you got into the class kind of towards the end, okay. so. We're, we're, we were just talking about um, what you're going to be doing this weekend, and also the last question was, if you could do anything, what would you do this weekend? So, do you want to share with us? Maybe I would like to stay at home and read a good book. But if, if I could, if I, I could do anything, I uh, I could, you know, travel to 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 Germany, some country like that. Mm-hmm. So what's the weather um, like right now, where you are, Dominican? Well, in my country there are just two uh, weathers. There is uh, summer and hell. Now we are in summer. <laughs> yes, <laughs> we, we, we've been having this conversation. It seems like uh, many people uh, have hell at some time of the year, which means I think everybody's trying to say that there are times of the year where the weather is not very nice. And I'm thinking that uh, Ghassan convinced us that it was so hot in um, Baghdad that it really is hellish. <laughs> because That's that, funny. yeah, I don't know if it ever gets that hot um, in the Dominican Republic. There are some places in the United States, like in the last class where we talked a little bit about the Mojave Desert, it can get very hot, but I don't think it gets as hot. As you said, it gets in um, Baghdad, Ghassan. That is really, really hot. Not, not only about the degrees, not, but, but how you know, many the, hours. Yes, uh, yes. It depends on your perception because... Yeah. Sometimes some places feel hotter and some yes, places don't exactly. feel so hot. Yeah, okay. Yeah. All right, Emmanuel, or, uh, sorry, Emmanuel. Yep. Okay, you're going to be turning 18, so we can tell you happy birthday. And um, if you could do anything on the weekend, what would you do? No, I, I told you. I, yeah, my, yeah uh, but what if you could do anything, what would you do? Oh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> there are a lot of things to do. I say, well, maybe the, the only thing that we need is money, but... <laughs> well, that's, yeah, we that's part of the question. Oh, maybe, <laughs> maybe 
travel to I don't know to Africa. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> something crazy. Yeah. Something well, different. Something. Yeah. Out of, the, out of the routine. Yeah. Yeah. So we can say um something out of the ordinary. That's a phrase that people use. If you're doing something that's new for you, it's something that's out of the ordinary. So, um, I'm gonna go back over here to Faret and did you get your mic working yet? I see you, but I don't hear you. I don't know why. Okay. All right. Here's a couple more things about the weekends. Um, sometimes here in the United States, we only have about four more minutes, so this is gonna be a very quick question for everybody. Um, sometimes in the United States people like to stay up very late at night on the weekends and then they like to sleep late so they and I'm wondering what you like to do do you like to go to bed uh, late and sleep in or do you just continue to go to bed at your regular time so Emmanuel do you stay up late on the weekends uh, late yeah uh, come on, yeah. Like what time do you go to bed? Maybe 12 a.m., 1 a.m. I go to the bed, yeah. Uh-huh, okay. So, yeah, sometimes, yeah, sometimes I like, go, go out with my friends and we uh, take the, I mean, the whole night talking or speaking. Uh-huh, right, and, okay, so late nights. Adam in the chat says yes. How about you, Enrique? Do you stay up late on the weekends? Well, normally in, on the weekends, I just stay up late and s sleep for a while. Then and then I wake up and eat something. You yeah. Know, okay. Normal. Erkal, how about you? Do you stay up late at night on the weekends? Erkal, looks like your video maybe froze. Are you there, Erkal? All right, it's getting close to the end, so I gotta go quickly to people. Ivan, how about you? Do All you right. stay up late on the oh, weekends? Oh yeah, so late, and <laughs> it's terrible because on Monday night, my schedule, body is totally different, and I have to to control. I don't know the word. To, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it, I wrote it. I in like. The... I like to to relax uh, more more time in the weekend. Mm -hmm. It's cool. Yeah, um, yeah, I wrote it in the chat. Sometimes people talk about if they stay up late um, several days in a row, like on the weekend, it messes up their schedule. So your or your schedule gets messed up because if on Monday morning you have to go back to work early, then you're probably pretty tired. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. How about you, Oziel? Do you like to stay up late on the weekends? Yeah, normally Friday and Saturday I sleep really late. I go sleep really late, like 3 a.m., 4 a.m. Oh, but wow. Sun yeah. Sunday I don't do this because in the morning I have to wake up early. But sure. Friday and Saturday I probably go to bed really late. Yeah. And Wolf, you're a weekend warrior. Do you stay up late? Do you stay up all night on the weekends? It depends on the occasion. If I am if I am alone, I call early night. If I have company, I will stay up all night long. Yes. Okay, great. And Salim, how about you? Do you stay up late on the weekends? Yes, in weekend mostly I uh, stay up uh, late, especially uh, yes. uh, specific uh, special uh, weekend. Special events, maybe? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, I see that some people are joining in the class right now, but we're going to have to finish finish up the class. We were just talking about uh, what we do on the weekends, and it sounds like people have um, some fun. Some people are going to be going scuba diving. Some people are going to go to the beach, and so lots of people are doing different things. Um, I didn't tell you what I'm going to be doing this weekend because I'm just not I'm not doing anything special either. I'm just going to be around the house. I'll probably teach a couple of verbling classes, spend some time with my family, my kids. Um, maybe I'll go see a movie, um, things like that. So just I want to thank you guys for joining the class, and I'm sorry that the class is over now. I see some people, but I think uh, another class is happening soon, and maybe it's Marcus because he showed up in the chat here. So. Yeah.
All right. Have a good class, and thank you, everybody. I'll see you next time. Thank you, teacher. I'll see you soon. See you later. Okay. See you soon. Bye. Bye. Bye.